What's going on guys, this is Games Gaming. Today we are talking about the college in War and Order and what you should be prioritizing in your research at the beginning of the game. So when it comes to your college, obviously you wanna make sure you are continuously upgrading your college with your castle level. This is vitally important. So as you are upgrading your castle, you wanna make sure you are also upgrading your college. This will not only allow your research to be done faster, but you also unlock more research as you go on. So when we go into our college in the research, you can see there are five different categories that you can do research in. In resources, development, city defense, guardian force, and military. Now when you unlock the college, you wanna make sure you first start with architecture, physique one, rapid march, and then getting to medical facilities, and finally to research one. This will allow you to then upgrade research one to max level 10 out of 10, and then go back and then work on architecture. And the reason why you wanna do that is because it will not only save you the speed ups in terms of the architecture speed that you are saving, but also it will make that development even faster. So as you're researching your architecture, you are saving time because you spend the time to go ahead and max research first. Now, as we keep on going, finishing up physique is important for free to play value when you're hitting monsters on the field, because this will increase your stamina recovery by 10% as well as rapid march this isn't as important but this does come into play when it comes to hitting monsters so it does increase your march speed when you are attacking monsters but when you're using multiple marches it doesn't matter as much medical facilities is very important at the beginning of the game because it increases your soldier capacity for your wounded by seven and a half percent now this is really important because if you are in an unfriendly kingdom you are going to get attacked at some point and you want to make sure you can save as many troops as possible Medical facilities helps make that happen. Now, on top of that, healing one raises the healing speed for your wounded soldiers. So if you are having people attack your city frequently, increasing the healing speed for your wounded soldiers is very important. I have not maxed this out simply because I have not really had to. I don't get attacked often enough to make this worth it yet, but I will eventually be maxing this out. Now, tax rate is really important if you are making a farm account because this will reduce the transportation taxes when you are sending resources to another alliance member. Now, on top of the healing, wounded conversion is extremely important for defending your city. The ratio of soldiers killed in battle will be converted to wounded by 5%. 5% is a lot when it comes to dead troops because dead troops cannot come back. So bringing those dead troops into wounded is vitally important. Now, to finish up development, the two categories we should be looking toward is architecture two and research two. These are the next two that you should be aiming for simply because architecture is going to help you with your buildings and then research two is going to help you with your research speed. And now this is something that I still need to work on as I'm upgrading my other research, but development is what I've been prioritizing the most when it comes to my technology. Now the next one we want to focus on is resources. This is because this will help us gather more resources as we go. And so obviously finishing up the first two are going to be really important because you need a lot of food and you need a lot of wood so raising your production is really really important following that is sickle one and sharp axe one this is going to increase the gathering speed for your wood and your food now as we go to load boost this will raise your army load not as important um, because you know as you upgrade your lord you're going to be able to bring more troops anyway but depot one will raise your depot capacity which is important i'll go ahead and upgrade that right now as we are here um, because, you know, this will make sure you are keeping your resources safe. Alloy drill will raise your stone output by 20%. Pickaxe will also increase your stone gathering speed. And then Splunking will raise your gem gathering speed. Personally, I don't gather a lot of, I don't gather a lot of gems. I buy gems, so I don't really have to gather that many. But as we keep on going, load boost, not super important. But working on blast furnace is important for mine production output. And then following that, working on iron gathering speed is going to be important as well. And then finally here, the next one to focus on is depot two. This will also increase the max depot capacity, not only with research, but also with upgrading your depot will allow you to keep more resources as you go. So if I go ahead to upgrade here, you can see this will increase the amount of protection you have for your food, stone, wood, and iron. So that's something that you should also be focusing on when it comes to working on your depot. Now the next category, a lot of people wanna say city defense, but personally I would say military 
is the next most important. The reason why is because this is going to increase the stats on all of your troop types. So when it comes to, you know, focusing on hitting monsters, on rallying objectives, and also defending your city, your military is going to be really important. But not only that, also elevating the amount of troops you're going to have in your city. So increasing soldier recruitment is going to be really important by 5% here. And then increasing all the attack of your troops is going to be really, really important at the end of the game. And raising your max soldier recruitment in with, with expansion 1 will allow you to train more troops. As we keep going, Legion 1 will increase the amount of armies you can have marching, which is really great for hitting different units when it comes to hitting monsters. Physique is very, very important for health points because health is extremely important. Next here, you're going to focus on leadership. This will increase the max soldiers in a marching army by 7,000. That's huge at the beginning of the game. Next that you want to focus on is draft two. Again, increasing your recruitment speed of your troops and expansion. Once again, increasing the amount of troops you can train at once. Legion three will also increase the number of marching armies you have. So now you have three marching armies. And then next category you want to focus on is leadership two. This is where I am at now, raising the max amount of soldiers in an army by an additional 700 per upgrade. So up to another 7,000. Next year, city defense is going to be the next one that we want to focus on. And that is really to focus on the golem. And so golem recruitment is going to be huge, increasing the recruitment speed, also increasing the max amount of golems you can have in your city is also huge. And on top of that, if we scroll all the way down, trying to get up to guard blessing, which will increase the health points in your defense and also golem recruitment too, will increase the buildings and Golem Recruitment 2 will increase the recruitment speed for those Golems. And finally here we have Guardian Force. This is the last one, mainly because Angels don't come until a little bit later on. So Guardian Force isn't as important to focus on. However, it is an important aspect of the game where you want to make sure you have Angels in your city. This is where you have troops that have died that can come back as Angels, which is important for defending your city. And you can also increase the number of Angels you can recruit at once. So if I go ahead and go up to the angel recruitment, the guardian temple, you can see right here, this is where you can recruit different angels. Um, so as you upgrade them, you can get higher levels as you upgrade your guardian temple. So that's one aspect that you also want to focus on. We really want to make sure we are focusing on overall development because that will be very, very vital at the beginning of the game, mainly because that is going to be the starter of the game and then eventually getting into resources military, city defense, and then finally guardian force. So it really depends on where you're at in the game as well. If you're at the very beginning, development and resources are gonna be huge for building up your city. And then as you get further into the game, defending your city and attacking different objectives are gonna be more and more important. As you get to wars, military is gonna be very, very vital. And also defending your city is gonna be extremely important with city defense. And then finally, like I said, Guardian Force is going to be the last objective that you want to focus on, mainly because it doesn't really come until later on in the game, and it is just a much smaller part of the game when it comes to defending your city and attacking other players. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this guide on the different college recommendations I have here um, in terms of focusing on development, resources, military, city defense, and guardian forces. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great rest of your day.